What's up, guys? We are back with a very, very special podcast today. We are joined with India's very, very newest IFBB Pro. But not only that, these newest Olympian. Now, there's a very special story to be told here, you know, but one thing that I want to emphasize is just how high character that this individual is. I've had the opportunity to meet him just this past weekend, compete with him this past weekend, and get my ass kicked by him this past weekend, all in the same time. And one thing I do want to emphasize is this as well. When it comes to this sport, you meet a lot of good people, you meet a lot of bad people, and it's safe to say and meet is a good person. So I want to first introduce your newest IFBB pro and also your newest Olympian. Uh, meet, thank you for joining the pod today, brother. And again, man, it was one hell of a weekend, and I'm honored to have you on here. Thank you so much for having me. It's, it's like a big, big honor for me for uh, coming in and joining you. Ah, uh, it's like a great. It's like like I'm having a that phase. Like all whatever I can wish, I can, I'm getting it. And so it's one of the greatest time right now. Uh, it's like a big thing for me. Like watching your journey last year, uh, learning learning from you how to be how to handle situation, the failure, getting up back from then. You coming back and getting your Olympic 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 qualification in a very first first show this year. There's a lot I learned from, and uh, and this is a really big thing for me, being amateur, watching you, and now talking to you in, uh, in the same podcast is like a dream coming true. Yeah, That's man. And you know, one thing I do want to emphasize is this, man. You know, on, on the podcast, our goal is to not only educate and entertain, yeah. you know, but when we started this, we really wanted to highlight individuals who maybe were unknown or just simply had a character that – I think just needed to be displayed. And again, man, you know, when it comes to competition, when it comes to show day, you know, you never know what you're going to get, right? There's a lot of different personalities. And, you know, one thing I will say is when I saw you, you know, front row, I was uh, watching the amateur show. The first thing I said was this man can beat a lot of pros. Like this man could be a lot of pros right now. And again, you proved it just a few hours later, you know. So my question to you is, man, going into the day, right, not even the show, because there was two different shows for you that yes. day. What was your overall expectation? Like, what would you say your end goal was to close out that day? Okay, if you're talking about that particular day, uh, yeah. I knew I'm going to – I was confident enough because that confidence was built with discipline. Entire entire prep, I was very really disciplined with my work ethic, and uh, I knew I, I, what I, I what I wanted and uh, what I what, what was my flaw, and I got it done. So yeah. according to the level of competition I have seen a few years back, I knew uh, the few work uh, the, the things I need to get done. It was it was it was done. So yeah. I was confident about being a pro. Uh, the main thing for me was special thing to get overall pro. So I wanted to get overwhelmed. So I'll be pretty confident to go in a pro show. If I could have got, if I could have got second pro show, the, there's a two pro pro cards. So mm -hmm. one and a second. If you get a second second pro card, then you're already different in a pro show because there, there's a guy who is superior for, from you. So definitely, it wasn't for me. The main thing uh, I had the three steps in my mind to get a get a get get a, get a category gold. That the very first thing that's a very minor step, so I get more confident to go for the pro card. And second most important thing for me and my coach was to get an overall pro card. And the third thing, when I got to know you are coming in, the very first thing I was really, no one has thought, no one could have even thought of me. But at back of the mind, I knew uh, all I want to get to, I want to get in top three. I just want to stay stand at least to your left or to your right. And even it, no one have thought of getting like different or something, but I wanted to get to left or right so that I can understand what I need to get work in the future. Yeah. So that was Man. my thing. That that okay. So there's a lot to unpack here. So I just got chills you, you saying that, man. So it, it it's really cool that here that you have high expectations for yourself coming into this yes. show, where it's not just you want to turn pro, you want to be the best. You want to be the best uh, amateur on that day, yeah. like. No matter what, you know, and for people who don't know, it is not easy turning pro in India. Yes. You know, there are two pros out of a stacked lineup. And I'm going to sit here and say this very confidently. There are a lot of amateurs who, if they came to the States, 
they would become pros. And not, and not only that, the conditioning in India is superior than it is in the US. I'm going to say that very confidently. It, India is a very underrated country when it comes to bodybuilding. Yes, do they not have a massive amount of Olympians? Um, they might not have the biggest uh, notoriety, um, you know, but I will tell you guys this, seeing it firsthand, I'm telling you guys right now, if they decided to hop on that 20-hour flight to come over to the U.S., you guys better buckle up because I'm telling you, it will be a battle. And I, again, I witnessed that firsthand. Now, outside of that, man, the standard for yourself is something that I, that I absolutely love hearing. You know, at the end of the day, you know, we don't just want to skate by and, 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 and just get something. We want to be dominant in the approach that we get it. And again, I truly believe that you did just that. When I saw your physique, I knew very quickly that this man was turning pro, right? Now... When it comes to the pro show, I'm not sure if you remember backstage. You know, I I asked you, and I was like, oh, so you're you're jumping in. And then he was like, yeah, yep. And I was like, and then I told you, and I was like, I can guarantee you're going to be in that top conversation. And then when they called you out um, in the first call outs, do you remember you were actually next to me? Yes. And I looked at you, and I was like, what I tell you? I was like, what I tell you? Right? Because, again, man, I'm just going to say real recognizes real. And I think that your energy, your, your persona, your um, confidence level, when I saw you go against the amateurs, as long as that translated, man, I think that that was going to be a, something that, that puts you in that top conversation. You know, now, from my understanding, you did the amateur Olympia about seven months ago, eight yes, months I ago, did. right? Yes, I did, yeah. What was the biggest difference and growth from that time period to now that truly set you apart? Because you got third place then. But now you didn't get just first, bro. You dominated the show. So like that's yeah. a lot of improvements that happened in a short amount of time. So what was that biggest change? Okay, the uh, the last uh, seven months uh, before that, I competed in amateur Olympia, which happened mm-hmm. in Mumbai. So that prep uh, I did for in a three weeks. That for three weeks, yeah. <laughs> Eventually, weeks? Uh, yeah, three weeks. I wasn't. I, uh, I started my prep, but the thing wasn't going in uh, well. The few circumstances and the situation, the personal things wasn't wasn't going in my favor, and that that and that that's particular situation, uh, I did the registration was everything done. So I made uh, finally the the current coach I am with. So I met him. I asked him uh, that, uh, and he co- he was like, we can crack the show. Being on amateur stage, we can crack the show. And in 18 days, he got me ready, and somehow somehow we fe- we got the third place. I was I wasn't happy. I've definitely, if I've seen, I wasn't good enough, uh, and there were there were a lot of things. But the time I got off the stage, within the next day, I called him and uh, asked him what's the, what's the next plan we're going up. So we took we took we took a month. We got everything, got the things to get done. January first, uh, till uh, till this show, uh, we prepped for almost six months, mm-hmm. and all the time the way the. Uh, I had one thing in my mind. I want to get a pro physique. I not nice. want to get a pro card. I don't want to go for the pro anything. I wanted to get a pro physique. Uh, before that, so I, I, I try to surround myself with the men physique content, men physique people, men physique, men physique world. So all day since morning, if I'm working, it's about it about getting you all the podcasts, learning. Uh, all all the men physique people, all, all all the pro shows, what what actually men physique uh, game is all like. Uh, I, eventually, it was my fourth show. Like it's been uh, it's been technically it's my second year being competing in a professional IVB league. Uh, before that, I was natural. I never I I actually I came to CT to completed my uh, complete my MBA. I did my MBA post graduation in marketing. So eventually, I got into all Damn. this. Yeah. Okay. So it, it was my fourth show. And uh, so yeah, the mindset was clear to get 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 my pro pro physique, and I knew if I get a pro physique, I'll be in a pro show. So, yeah. how, how old are you? How old are you? I'm, I'm 26 right now. 26 years old. Yeah. And your mindset and the way that you look at things, brother, is like a veteran, somebody who's been in this game for a very long time. Yeah. You know, because again, a lot of people don't understand, man. If you want to be a pro. You need to act like a pro before you get handed that title, right? You don't. You you need to dress for the job that you want and not the job that you you have. And a lot of people don't understand that, man. Like they they want to be a pro but act like an amateur. And 
I think that's where I've connected with you in the handful of conversations that we've had because I just felt like there's a big difference in the way that you approach certain things. Your yeah. your ability to be humble but confident, right? Your your ability to have an aura and a presence about you that is again is demanding and again we saw it this past weekend on you know amateurs and, and pro stages, right? Now I've had the opportunity to you know compete internationally now twice and. I've seen a massive difference from when I competed in Mexico and how their fan bases react. It was electric, but I have never seen anything like when I stepped on stage in India. You know, it it was for somebody who's been on the Olympia stage before, you know, who's going back to the Olympia stage before, who has been on some pretty heated battles with crowds going crazy. Nothing compares. And I'm telling you, even the Olympia, nothing compares. So you're going to have a leg up because that feeling was going to stun a lot of people. And you've already felt that more and more and more. So with that, man, the pressure of the culture, the community, because when you peel back all of the layers, it's you and it's Buon, and don't get me wrong, there are also some under uh, other, um, you know, Indian competitors who have made it to the Olympia, but yes, yes. But when it comes to the more recent day and age, it's you right now, and you are the only one who actually still lives in India. Yes. You know, so you are the one who sees the people on a day-to-day basis, yes. and with that added pressure, or better yet, is that added pressure? Like, how are you, how are you handling this mentally, you know, and, and how have you been, um, you know, just with the love and I'm sure all of the eyeballs that you've been getting since the show? Yeah. So, uh, as very first thing, uh, there are a lot of things going on in right, Indian right now. There's a, like, I'm being first Indian being to Olympia. No, I guess Bhuvan, Bhuvan Chavan, Bhuvan, I call him Bia as a brother. Uh, mm-hmm. Bhuvan Bia is, he's a first, I guess he's a, he's Olympian. He's being an Olympian stage, but the be, being in India, staying in India is that's people getting connected more. And I have a massive, massive respect for Bhuvan Bia because uh, he was the first person who got me more confident about going to the pro show. Before, before the show, he helped me out with the posing and I talked to him, have a good conversation and everything. And he, he was, he, he I, someone I look up to and he's he, being an Indian, uh, we, I, I can connect to him. And he's someone who is actually also obsessed with the game, who understand the game pretty well. Yes. Yeah. Yes. He's more, uh, and that's what I really like about him. And I connect to him and he helped me with a lot. So I have massive respect. I don't want to be, I don't want, I don't want to get that in the conclusion that I'm first, he's, he's second or he's first or second. All does matter that we Indians are getting final to the Olympia. That's all that's mattered for 12. Exactly. Yeah. And actually, and you talk about the, uh, uh, the crowd getting people. Uh, believe me, in this couple of years back, in, uh, Indian bodybuilding has started growing up because people are getting involved. And mm-hmm. uh, they said that after winning me, they got more belief that uh, India can go to the Olympia right now, and it's a big thing for us. Yeah, and man. yeah, and you, if you and also you talking about, talked about the pressure right now. I guess I, I'm not I'm not I'm not getting pressurized at all. Uh, I'm trying to soak soak trying to soak that love in. And mm-hmm. this prep was for me and for my coach and for my family and my friends who believe me. But upcoming prep, uh, it's all it's for the India. And I yeah. know this gonna help me push more. If I if I, I was trying to I was putting hundred percent for this prep, this all this thing gonna pre- push me two hundred percent or more than that. And it's not a pressure, but it's kind of a responsibility to work me hard. And because even though if if somehow somehow your body doesn't feel make sometimes it's not hundred percent, but yeah. now this atmosphere created in uh, around me, uh, it's gonna help me and my coach to uh, push more. And definitely, uh, I mean, we, I'm going to get a good package for the Olympia as well. The mindset is clear. And after the show, very first thing, what we did, uh, the kind of a mindset I, 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 I'm in right now. After the show, I, I straight went to the Steve, uh, the head judge. And we straight went to the Ryan and, uh, and we, we asked him, because being an Olympian and also being a head judge, I asked him, what do you want me to work on? What do you want yeah. me to get? What do you want me to expect to Olympia? So I, I got noted the things and I know what to work on and uh, yeah we got we got a plan now. Are are you able to share that stuff or you want to keep that within your team? No no definitely this it's all all, all bad. it's okay. They told me like uh, get uh, you can go for uh, get don't go for the size don't go for don't for the weight cap 
I was 77 on the stage. Um, I, I had to 70, 71. So I still got a 6 kg of... Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, Do you yeah, still got like... like yeah. what, you, what was that? Was that like 14 plus pounds? Yes, yeah, something. So I still, oh I still I still got a lot of weight. But there's like, don't chase a weight because you're already, you're already full. So try to balance your lower and upper body. Get your core tight. And uh, I, I personally feel I can I can go for my for go for the more rare delts and get more fuller, and yes. that's, it's it's like actually if we leave this week we have sixteen weeks sixteen weeks out for the prep, and not yeah. a much time so I can I almost I can I, I feel like my coach and me are planning to get a short uh, short phase of a bit of bulk so I can put on yep. at least one of one point five kg something add on, and we can have a proper because my body is a flow I'm still trying to eat clean and going with the flow. 100%. Uh, that's all we can do. You get a more coat tight and get more sharper. Because being Indian, all we have a conditioning. I can go. I can't compare with a big size like you guys. Yeah. Well, if you don't mind, do you mind if I give you some some feedback? Definitely, man. All all way, all always up to the feedback. again, man. Uh, as me being a massive fan uh, of yes. of your physique and and again your character, right? I want I do want to see you succeed, man. Like Definitely, I want to make that yeah. very clear. You know, just because you know you were the better man on that day does not mean that not only do I want to go against you and beat you, but it doesn't <laughs> doesn't change the fact that I want to see you succeed. Definitely. You know, and 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 with that, you know, a few different things that I think that you can work on that are within your control and easily able to do within these next 17 ish weeks going to the Olympia, right? The first thing is posing, you know, yes. at, at the, at the end of the day, man, like that's something that will come with time because I think that there's a conception out there that your waist isn't small, but I also think that you're posing very front on and with some manipulation, you could really bring your, your physique to life. I think your fullness to, on that day was phenomenal. I was very impressed with your ability to carry your fullness from the morning show to the night show. So what that looked like was, again, you just got harder and harder and harder on stage. And my look is never the hardest look, right? I have a considered a polished look, which yeah. from what I hear from the judges, right? It got better from the show that I did two weeks ago, but it still wasn't what I know that it can be and will become Olympia time. That's just the reality of my situation. And I can look myself in the mirror and say that, you know, so where you exposed me, whereas where you're going to be able to expose a lot of other guys too, right? So again, that's going to be with presentation. That's going to be with your hardness through your midsection, through your chest, arms, right? They don't have to be the biggest chest and arms, but yeah. again, the fullness and the conditioning will almost make them look bigger than they actually are because I'm standing next to you and I'm considered more of a bigger guy, right? Yeah. And you stood toe to toe with someone who's a, a bigger guy in the size department, right? So just that thought process alone, man, if you can clean up the posing a little bit yeah. more, I mean, you're, you're going to have the best haircut on stage. So it, 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 it doesn't matter. <laughs> so you, you got to bring your barber with you to Vegas. But yeah. um, again, man, I think you clean up your posing. Um, I think a little bit angle manipulation. Um, and I think that, you know, just... Honestly, man, in that short time frame that, that you have right there, I think seeing what you've done in seven months to get to from, you know, the, the amateur Olympia to here, I think you can still put on a little bit of size. You know, I think um, seeing what you were, you know, looking back at your photos in closer to your you know, off season ish, you're still in pretty good shape, yes. you know. I have that body type where if I look at food, I gain weight. So I got to be careful. But yeah. when it comes to somebody like you, man, I truly believe that you have enough time to aim to put on some added size. And I think that you're going to be really, really good, man. So I'm really excited for you. And I'm really hoping that, um, you know, we get an opportunity to somehow stand next to each nice. other. Yeah. And, 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 and kind of relive that moment. Now, speaking of, of, of those moments, man, you know, I think that we both shared a pretty special one on, on stage and, um, you know, in that moment when there was a, a final two in, in, in just you and I, and, you know, I'll be honest, going into the show, I thought it was going to be more me and Anik. Um, you know, I thought, you know, with the hype going on around yeah. him and, you know, I thought he was going to be in that, that final conversation, um, you know, but I'm happy it was you, man. Um, but I got a lot of questions about, you know, what, what did you say to him? Like, wait, what, what what was going on in your guys' head? What was that conversation like? And I'm not sure if you remember it because it was such an emotional time. But I I remember sitting there, man, looking out at the crowd, and then look like when I looked at you and I looked out at the crowd, I was like, I start. This is the first time I'm really starting to see how important it is to this community that a fellow Indian has an opportunity to go to the Olympia right now. 
you know, and as much as I, I didn't want him to go to the Olympia that, that day, um, I also understand the importance of moments. And in that moment, it was big, you know. So I remember, you know, I said, let's put on a show. Let's put on a show. And then when it was all said and done and after we put on a show, you know, I remember going head to head with you and sitting there saying, like, I want you to remember this moment. Yes, like, look at, look at this crowd. Look at this community. Like, this is special. Don't forget this. You know, because there was a lot that happened to you that day, man. You went pro. And most people, that's everything to them, right? Yes. That's everything. But now you just jumped everybody, all of those emotions, and now you're going to the Olympia, yeah. right? So there's a lot of emotions to digest at, in those times. And you, you made history that day. Yeah. You, you made history, right? So, again, man, I just wanted to let you know how special of a moment that was for me, um, because of who you are, high character guy, but also because of the community, you know what I mean? It was really something special, really yeah. special. So do you have any specific plans outside of like, um, like physique wise, changing your physique, like for the Olympia, are you, are you planning to go out there early? Um, are you bringing your team with you? You know, like what is, what is that going to look like for you? Cause that, that is, bro, it's not a, it's not a, it's a long flight. <laughs> it's a long flight. Yeah, Twenty two so, hours flight, right? Yeah. So, yeah. so what's your plan there? So we are planning to uh, get a visa as early as possible. Visa things get uh, pretty tough in India to get visas. So eventually, we if we get a visa, we're planning to come. Uh, we plan to come two weeks prior, two as weeks. We, uh, so that we if, even though we can get the jet lags and everything, so we can my body mm. can uh, get into Settle. the atmosphere and get settled down there. So I don't want to ruin it. So even even though if I, if 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 it goes ten twenty percent of get something bad, so we can we can we can collect it and get back to the uh, we can go in a uh, peak week. So I, before that, I want you. I just we are planning to get there before uh, two weeks prior or maybe before that. So obviously my coach will be there and our team from overall the team India will be coming up there. So that's a plan. Nice. Yeah. Damn, that's that's crazy. So you so you, you're kind of bringing India with you to a, a small Definitely. degree. Yeah, it's a small degree. bunch of people and expectations of million. I'm gonna come with. Hell yeah, man! Yeah. Well, I'll be heading out there early as well. So you let me know if you need anything. Yeah. I don't know whether it, it, I know every gym down there. You know, it's. Uh, have you ever Have you ever experienced Vegas or heard of Vegas or done any research on Las Vegas? Ne uh, believe me, I never been to any. I never been to, out of India. So Dude, this is the very is... first time I'm gonna be. This is earn earn I earn this, and. Uh, being being um, i'm not that great with a like uh, uh with a family background financially so mm -hmm. this is something i earn and the very first thing i'm gonna get on the stamp from uh, on a passport is gonna be usa and that's uh olympia and this is a big, big thing uh because the second pro show will be my olympia oh yeah man that's i actually i'm gonna be honest with you i just got chills hearing that yes. you know yeah. so it, that, that that that's really cool you know they call vegas the sin city you know so oh, yeah. they're there is a, a lot of activity that goes on there. Now, I will say this. I drove around um, Delhi, and oh, yeah. I'm, I've never witnessed driving like that before in my life. <laughs> it is yeah, the craziest. Yeah. It is the, it's like if you've ever seen the movie Fast and Furious, it's literally <laughs> like Vin Diesel and Paul Walker, just a bunch, bunch of them just driving up and down the streets going crazy. But um, it was a very crazy experience. So I think it's really, it's going to be cool seeing like the cultural differences for you because how it was for me. Because, you know, I didn't get there that early, man. Like, I mean, I got there. I left on, um, what, Tuesday and I got there because of the, the, the nine and a half hour time difference. Uh, I got there on Thursday. Like, what time is it for you right now? It's 12.50 uh, night. I yeah, see, I so my man, you are you are up late right now, yeah. um, and and so I appreciate you. But like the time crazy. difference is crazy because for me it's only th it's three twenty, so it's a nine and a half hour time difference, right? So yes, um, it's it's a lot to get your body adjusted to. So I think it's really smart that you're going out there. But I love that you're going out there early too because I really want you to experience you know the U.S. and I think that there's a a lot, man. There's so much going on in Vegas that you're going to be able to experience so much of the U S in, in two weeks that, uh, you know, I didn't get an opportunity to do in India. So I, I, you know, I'll say this now and Aaron Banks is going to laugh at me for saying this, but <laughs> I do. I've been, I, I just yesterday I've been, I saw the men physics studio. You, you, you saw the podcast? Yeah, I did. 
Aaron is no dos. I know, I know. Aaron is a um, acquired taste brother. He is such a good guy. And... I know, and I have a bunch of respect for him. I, I, being criticized by him is also kind of a big thing for me. Uh, watching mm-hmm. men's physique radio all this all this time and uh, being a part of it doesn't matter because uh, whatever I said, uh, I won't deny. Uh, because uh, okay, he, I, I, I'm I'm not that ready. I'm being immature. Uh, obviously, I'm not there yet. What he, that mm-hmm. that what he said. Uh, posing definitely I need to work on uh, because all I did whatever the I, I never had a posing I never had any coaching uh, posing coach um, uh, but whatever the posing routine I have created I created from watching uh, Brendan Hendrickson Ryan Terry Ben uh, the back pose I tried to squeeze like I saw saw Ben come last year so mm-hmm. I try to recollect it and I try to uh, try to just uh, merge with my body because I don't I don't know what what exactly suits me. Uh, the the uh, the front the front pose you're talking about uh, actually and this do let him know I don't have the 36 inch waist. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> please do let him know that <laughs> I don't have the 36 inch waist. Uh, and I'll, I'll but whatever it is I'll uh, I, and also I'll try to make sure I don't come in a last call out. Uh, yeah. yeah, but actually yep. yeah he yep. being that Olympian he expect and obviously he have seen you in a person so he he haven't seen me in a uh, in a person because you have seen me in a person so you know how uh, rip, and i was conditioned and then you know that you're, yeah you're pure, because, bro. yeah so you're pure. And, so. and that's the thing listen man i'll, I'll be honest with you you know yes. there's a lot of people screaming robbery there's a lot yeah, of people yeah, scream yeah. and bro i can't feed into it like listen if you if you watch the video that i posted today you know i i, I talk about it like I'll tell you, like, I'm not somebody who's going to hide my emotions, but I'm never going to take in, take a moment from you. There were shows yes. last year that I placed, this is my third, third time placing second, Yes, you know? Yeah. And one of those other times, I, I truly believe that I, that I won the show. I mean, I won prejudging, you yes. know? And most times during that in men's physique, you win the show if that's the case. Now, in this case, I'll tell you straight up, I thought I won the show. I'm not going to sugarcoat it, but it doesn't change the fact that I also know that there were a lot of things that I did that left the door wide open that because of that, the sport is very subjective. And not to mention during prejudging or after prejudging, I looked at my, I looked at like the photos and stuff. I was like, I could lose this. Like, I'm not blind. Like, I'm not, like, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, I won, I won, I won, you know, like. I'm not blind. You know, I think there were strengths that I had and, and there was definitely strengths that you had over me, yes. you know, and regardless of it, I want you to take that in and understand, like I'm saying that and I placed 14 in the world in 2022 and this is your first pro show and you have a lot of strengths over somebody who plays 14. So I hope that gives you motivation going into the future yes. because, you know, a lot of people might not see your potential, or they might just keep saying the word potential surrounding you. But I've seen your ability to, you know, grow and, and make changes very fast in a short amount of time. And I know you're going to do it here going into the Olympia. Yeah. And again, man, you know, I consider you a wild card. You know, I really do because I think you're going to expose a lot of people in a lot of areas and you're only going to get better. So the time that I saw you just recently is not going to be the same person who I see then, you know? So I think it's really exciting time for you, man. And, and, more importantly, man, I almost consider myself an Indian, how much I want to move to India because of how much I love you guys. But yes. I want to see India happy and succeed and, and add another notch to their belt in bodybuilding because that community is what bodybuilding is. That, yes, that community is what more of we, what we need more in the States and across the bodybuilding landscape. And I just wish that more people could see it. And if they did, I, I do believe the whole landscape of things would, would start to change and shift in, in another direction, man. So, again, you know, this this is a really exciting time for not only India, but this is a really exciting time for bodybuilding because, you know, if you take a step back and look at just this season, there you have we have a lot of young guys, a lot of young guys, rookies coming out of nowhere, right? We have Ricardo Sinet. Um, yeah, I said him. Uh, yeah, we have we have you. We have um, his name is. Um, Brandon Candelopes, who placed who second at Optimum. Second at Optimum, yeah. Yeah, and um, we got another guy. I'm drawing a blank on his name. He just did DC Pro. He got fourth place. He finished in the first call out. He looks amazing. You know, we have um, a lot of just young up and coming stars 
and honestly, I'll be honest, over the last couple of years, there hasn't really been young up-and-coming stars uh, in this sport. Um, and you guys are starting to make a name for yourselves, and I think it's very warranted, man. So this is an exciting time for you, exciting time for India, and certainly exciting time for bodybuilding. Now, before I let you go, brother, I got to ask, what was the post-show meal that you had? And because I remember I got some Indian food, I got some chicken biryani and butter chicken. I heard, I heard you like everything and being the going to the washroom every time. Bro, <laughs> I was I was stuck on that toilet for the whole next day, but it was worth it. Yeah. But what was your post show meal? Yeah, the uh, it, it took me almost. I, I had I had it next next day because okay. uh, a lot of things happened. So I've been really simple with the same. I had the butter chicken and uh, the naan. You had it. And the same, uh, stick to it because it's really. I guess I can't have that lot of uh, spices uh, to the body because I, I know the system gonna ruin it, bro. Uh, but the, the butter chicken is safe for everyone. The to spice have it. that I had, I didn't know. So I, I, I wasn't aware how spicy it was gonna be, right? Oh, yeah. Bro, when I ate that, oh my god, bro! I started sweating at the table. Like my body started heating up, and it was it was just insane. Um, but it, it was worth it, bro. That that chicken biryani yeah, yeah, yeah. is just different bro it's yes. different i'm definitely i'm definitely when i come back to india yo we yeah. got to plan something because i want to come back to definitely, india next definitely. year and you um have to, because if, if you, you, you i will also learn also i want to clear that thing that people loves you and uh, i don't know about the what what you got the actually what what surround of the athlete you uh, you are facing but people we are they are, people get really excited when someone coming out coming to the usa they predict that coming to, they have uh, they have a thing that someone coming from who is all being olympian they have a, they think that he's gonna go on an easy win because genetically you you uh, like the, being us we have a huge size and we indian genetics that don't have much that size but people mm. loves you and uh, okay. coming thank you for coming to the great platform and sheru and sheru classic and uh, giving a chance a young kid like me to stand next to you and uh, giving so much of uh, knowledge and uh, getting lot of we i learn a lot from you and also the erin banks do let him know i'm a, i'm i'm a big fan <laughs> of him and I i'll i'll make sure uh, he all he also likes me in the future and uh, I'll, make, I'll show him that I don't have a 36 waist. I, I really got a hard man. <laughs> One thing I know about Aaron, man, is he, he's a fan of good people. Yes. And, and again, he, he, he said it, man. He doesn't know who you are. He's just being I an know, analyst, I taking know. a step back and looking. You know, and I, I, I knew as so, soon as he has an opportunity even to watch this podcast, he's going to sit there and say, shit, maybe he should have beat you, Alex. <laughs> no, but he's going he's gonna, he's gonna, to he's gonna like you and, and who you are as a man. I, um, I want him yeah. to like me as an athlete. And that yeah. secondary is a person I don't know. I want him to like it. I said, that's going to be a big achievement for me. And like the, the way you liked me, uh, I want him to like me. That's going to be a big achievement for me, for the India. And that's mm -hmm. how I'm going to grow. Uh, I want to I earn that respect as being an athlete. As a person, I'm going to be the same I am, the normal guy. Uh, but I want to earn the respect of being an athlete as well because I want India to grow. That's, that's it's your... It's your bro. What what impresses me so much about you is is here more than anything else. Like your physical speaks for itself, but the way that you think, the way that you, you know, you, you see your future, the way that you see certain things happening, you know, it's 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 much more advanced than oftentimes you know your age, and it's 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 impressive, man. You know, I'm I'm always been I've always been a fan of people who are well spoken and have a good you know sh uh, mind and you know head on their shoulders, and um, you know. You you have you have a thought processes of, of champions, man, and then it was warranted for this weekend. So again, brother, I really appreciate you, and um, I know I know this is probably jumping the gun here, or, or but you have a, you have a girlfriend, is that, or is that your fiance? Yeah, wife? yeah, yeah she's my fiance. Yeah. Yeah. Well, listen, I want to say that too because I thought it was really cool that you know she her seeing her emotion on stage and and seeing um you know the passion that you you know you know that she had for you it was, it was another thing because i'm i'm a married man and I you know, know my wife w was there and you know it was something that really stood out to us because you know we don't get to where we're getting to without those support systems That's and absolutely. i knew i could tell by seeing her emotion and I, and, and i and you know she said congratulations to me on stage we talked very briefly but you know i just saw the passion through the tears in her eyes through the smile yeah. on her face through the do it all, man. So I wanted to make sure that I say that, man. So, you know, you got a good support system, obviously, around you, your yes, coach, yes, um, your, your, your fiance, your, your overall team. And now the bodybuilding community has their eyes on you, man. And I know you're going to put yeah. on the show. So Definitely. again, brother, 
thank you for joining. Um, is there anything you want to you want to lead off with? Uh, thank. That's all I can say. That thank you so much for having me. It's a big thing for me and both in India, and giving a chance to uh, introducing India to the to the world because you have a, such a great you have a built such a great community and uh, also you have uh, grown men physical community as well. And uh, you, the, whatever the experience we had, it, uh, is, it was because of you. I couldn't say it on a stage, but <laughs> I, I don't know how to react it. But now I'm stable enough to tell you. Thank you so much for uh, whatever the experience we had. Thank you so much for coming to that platform, Shiro Classic. And we are glad you uh, you came and uh, given chance to the Indian athletes and all mm-hmm. the love and support. Uh, even though Aaron Banks was criticizing me, you're still supporting me. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but no, I seriously because I loved it because I love Eden Banks and what he has done and what you have done and uh, and I'm glad not just Bo and Bia and a lot of not just some a lot of Indians gonna come and you people like you gonna help us out and that's that's all I wanna say and we love you and thank you thank so you. much for having me and I'm gonna I'm gonna make you proud and I'm gonna we're never gonna disappoint India as well. Thank you so I don't, much for having me. I don't doubt it for a second, brother. I'm honored to call you a friend. I'm honored to have done battle with you. And I'm honored to do battle with you again come October. Definitely. And Definitely. Uh, again, I know, I know you're going to put on for your, for your family I'll, and support I'll system in India. All right. So, I'll, be, I'll be bringing him a bit of package this time as well. Absolutely, guys. So, again, India, get ready. Because you have another 2024, or better yet, you have another Olympian simply stepping on stage to represent your beautiful country and again i'm telling you guys right now this man is just not the future but i'm confident that he will be the present so with that being said as always guys we appreciate you thank you for joining and uh again another podcast down we'll see you guys in the next one